So guys, um, I've been maining Windows 11, um, and it's been fine. I'm going to tell you my thoughts later on in the video, and I'm going to be explaining what I like about it. So what I like about it, I like this new taskbar, um, how it's uh, the new start menu, it's way simpler and it's less complicated. Um, I have my taskbar more or less like I had it in Windows 10, except for with the um, chat icon. Um, I don't like my icons being in the middle, it just looks weird. And I also like the new action centre. So this is the notification centre and this is the action centre. Honestly, I think that's a great improvement over Windows 10. I also like how the microphone is its own little thing. Instead of being an icon. You can still get to your icons by clicking here. Which I usually have the eject media here and OBS Studio. Um, but they are a simi they are similar to these other icons except for there they have the old style. Another thing I like about it is the new Explorer. I just find it a lot easier to use than the ribbons because everything's in one place. You can click here and see some more options, but I rarely use those. I also like all of the new icons for everything. So if I just go into all apps. Um, in fact, I'll just show you on the start menu. I like the new icons for I File Explorer, the store, settings, and those kind of apps. And I like the new Paint icon. And here's Microsoft Paint, it's still here. So, now onto the things that I don't like about it. I don't like how they haven't updated the desktop in a while. I wish they'd like bring a new font to it or something. Another thing that I don't like is you can't move your taskbar to the top of the screen or have the label showing which is something that I actually quite like. And another thing is in the paint app, I know this is kind of a small thing but I don't like the new paint UI, it's just no more. Because everything is an icon and doesn't have any text on it, I don't know what does that mean. Sure when you hover over it it says but it's just not as easy to use and well, simple. it's less simple, there's new icons, but not the old ones. Um, I like the new settings app. Uh, sorry, I went off topic then, but I do. Another thing I don't like is this new start menu all apps page. It just seems like it's there's wasted space, like these things go all the way across the menu. It's just a bit weird. Nothing that I don't like is Microsoft that installs itself every single time you update your computer. And I have to, this is my, oh shoot. No. Um, every single time I update my computer, I always have to move my icons back. Because Edge has placed itself right of place near the top next to my antivirus. Which is another thing that was improved in Windows 11, which was the built-in antivirus. Now back to the bad things. Taskbar. You right-click it, you get taskbar settings. That's it. There's no task manager. There's no taskbar customization literally in the right-click menu like you used to have. It just seems a bit half-made in parts of the taskbar. But you can kind of get used to it. Another thing that I don't really like is the widgets, or the lack of the good widgets. I wish they'd bring gadgets back where they're on the desktop, like a little side panel, like in Windows Vista. But there's an option, not there by default. It's just a little thing that you might want, instead of a weird glass thing at the side of your screen. And that's about it, really. Um, there, what I like and dislike about Windows 11. Um, now I'm going to go on to what I think about using Windows 11 as my main. So, I've been running this on my laptop, which has a Ryzen 5 4500Q and 8 gigs of RAM. Not really any graphics processor, but it's the Vega graphics. It's not the worst. I can play Minecraft on it, which is good enough for me. Um, it's been great. Honestly, it's been ultra stable. I've never actually seen the Windows 11 blue screen of death yet. Yet. 
and overall it's just been nice um it's still as quick as on windows 10 so if i open this it's still instantaneous go into an external drive takes the same amount of time everything feels as quick as windows 10 like clicking on these it pops out instantaneously and it's been good it's been stable it's worked with my friend oh i don't want to risk honestly something that i was um really hoping that it would work but yeah it's been really stable all my apps that run on windows 10 work on windows 11 at least not the ones that i've tried um but i have had a couple of applications that i used to run on windows 7 and windows xp which don't work i can't remember which ones they were but i think it was something to do with like rooting my android tablet um i wanted to root my tablet um but i couldn't do that because the software didn't work on windows 11 and my Windows 7 computer is not downstairs, so I couldn't get it. It was upstairs, buried somewhere. But yeah, it's, Windows 11 is my main. It's been good. Um, there are a couple of things that I didn't like, but they're just personal preference. There's nothing wrong with the performance or, well, general usability. Um, everything is more or less where you left it. Except for your desktop icon arrangement, which really annoyed me. That's why I'm stuck with this boring thing. Um, any icons scattered about, they will be reset to the side when you upgrade. That's the only thing that happens, really. Um, and also... Oh yeah, another thing is it keeps your drivers. Um, and also any applications that came with the computer, like a bunch of applications came with my computer. So if I go to real tech, this came with my computer. Um, and also audio wizard. These work perfectly. Um, I have had instances in Windows 10 updates that I couldn't actually use these applications because the update messed with something that was needed for these apps. And these came from Asus, so that's fine. They updated it pretty quickly. So yeah, I think using Windows 11 as a main isn't the worst idea. I mean, it works fine. It's just as quick. It's just really personal preference which one you prefer because you can use Windows 10 until 2025. Um, and Windows 11, they've not released a death date yet. But yeah, it's not been too bad. It's been working fine. And I also like the new lock screen. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching this video, I'll probably do a couple more little videos on how to do little things in Windows 11 because they've changed from Windows 10. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.